So this is how I was able to open up the next light controller. Uh, you take these two screws out first. Not like I did halfway through and then remembered, hey, there's some screws back there. I should probably take those out. Uh, I fiddled around with this thing for a good while, probably an hour before I could. I finally got somewhere. Basically, you take a flathead, a small one, and you stuff it in that horizontal line up there by the grip. And you could use that to wedge it sideways. Now you should probably use something softer. But I didn't have anything, so this is what I used. And there's, you'll notice there's some abrasions here and there where I was screwing around with it. Because I couldn't figure it out for a while. I did look around to try to find a, a guide to how to take this apart, but I didn't really find anything. There probably is, and I just gave up too soon, but, you know, I just wanted to get this thing open. So that's how the first one pops open, and then you do the same thing on the other side. And they might pop back in as you're messing around trying to get the rest of it to go. The outsides were a little tougher to get the pop. And that maybe sounds kind of horrible, but it wasn't. And after I snapped it all back together, you can't tell that I had opened it up at all. I thought it was completely impossible to open this until I figured out the start in those two horizontal spots. There's some of that abrasion that <laughs> from messing around earlier. But it finally popped open, and I just worked my way around. There's two little tabs at the top of the controller, a little bit. I don't know. What would you call them? They seem kind of weak. I don't think I'd be opening this up too many times, but the outside screws at the top probably help keep that all cinched down. Probably nothing to worry about. This is pretty much it, and then you get out all of them popped, and woohoo, it's open. And there she is. Ta-da!